to my channel, Pretty Hippie Me. Today is Fashion Friday and we are doing something a little bit different. First of all, let me just address, I feel like my lips just like look weird. I did this eye look and I really liked it and then I couldn't tell what lip color to put with it. I didn't feel like I had anything right. Can you let me know in the comments below? If you made the eye look that I made or with similar colors, what color lipstick would you put on with it? I need help. But this is not what this video is about. So, hi, I'm a YouTuber, you may have noticed, and I enjoy watching YouTube a lot. I certainly have a couple people who I enjoy enough that I would consider buying their merch. However, I have not done that yet because I've always been concerned that they're not gonna have my size. I'm currently a plus size 18-ish. Size 18 is the size of the average American woman. Because of my many experiences with how difficult it is to shop and find my size, it makes me hesitant to look at merch from YouTubers, especially straight size, kind of thin YouTubers who may not be thinking about the size inclusivity factor. So I just wanna look at a few different YouTubers, merch, what kind of size ranges they have. I have no idea. I have not pre-looked at this stuff. And we're gonna do an inclusivity audit. Could I buy merch from these YouTubers? You know, I'm going in with high hopes. Hopefully we will see lots of sizes. For me, uh, an inclusive size range goes up to at least a women's 4X and goes down to a double extra small and has the same sizes for women as it has for men. I'm gonna screen record here on my computer and show it next to me here. I'm not gonna necessarily just keep it to YouTubers that I personally watch. It's not all about me here. This is the neighborhood, this is a community. So let me start with somebody pretty like standard. Let me go with Mr. Beast. A lot of people know him, a lot of people like him. 63 million subscribers, good lord. Here's some merch. So here, average t-shirt. I agree to your cookies. So I see a small, medium, large, XL, double XL, three XL, but it's out of stock. Let me look at the sizing. It looks unisex. So their three XL is a 28 inch chest. That seems wrong to me. Hold on. This sizing does not make any sense to me. I haven't measured myself in so long. If I breathe, I have a 49 inch chest. So I know that this says adult chest sizes. I think they mean when the shirt is laying flat, like on a table, how far is it across? Not like how far is it all the way around? Cause otherwise there is no way somebody's chest size could be 18 inches unless they're a toddler. Let me try measuring myself that way. This is not the clearest <laughs> description, Mr. Beast. Maybe use a different graphic. Love you, I know you give away a lot of money to a lot of people. Okay, so this is an, an, an approximate chest measurement for me is 27 inches. These are men's sizes. So like men are more even around, you know, because there's no ladies to account for. So like if they did this half measurement and they got a 27, then probably the other half around their back would also probably be around 27. Based on these sizes, I could probably fit the 24 inches if that's more of a like equal distance front and back. And especially considering these are adult sizes and it looks like more of a men's cut, I could probably wear a size XL. What I appreciate about this size range is that they don't do what a lot of brands do and have like an average size Size section, a plus size section, and you have this overlap of like large XL, double XL over here, 0X, 1X, 2X over here in the plus section, because then I'm like, okay, so am I like an XL or a 0X or a double XL or a 1X? Like, why are they so similar but yet so different? It's just a nice, easy list. In terms of inclusivity, if an A plus is the range that I mentioned before of a double extra small up to a 4X. I would give this a solid B. It doesn't go down as far as it could and it doesn't go as high as it could, but I think that most people would be able to buy one of these shirts and work with it. I think you could go one size bigger and a couple sizes smaller. And I think you could also make a better size chart that's just more descriptive because it took me a minute to figure out that the sizes you're talking about here, the measurements, are when the shirt is laying flat, not like with the measuring tape wrapped around you. That was a nice way to start. I'm going to, I'm gonna look up Trisha Paytas. So Trisha is a curvy lady. 
Actually, let me stop me right there. Trisha is not a curvy lady. Trisha is a non-binary person who was assigned female at birth. And for some reason, when I filmed this section about Trisha's merch, it completely slipped my mind about that whole fact. So I want to apologize in advance for the fact that I filmed this video using she, her pronouns instead of they, them pronouns. When I was looking at their clothing line, I did have their more female identifying days in mind. Because what I'm trying to say here is that I think, in my opinion, that your own experiences with trying and buying clothing in the shape of your own body might impact how you choose to create a clothing line or merchandise line, or at least if it was me, for example, it would. And I think that Trisha has a particular experience with buying and trying clothing because of their more curvy body shape. However, I do want to make the point clear that Trisha does identify as non-binary and I am working on my muscle memory to start referring to Trisha as they, them. And I apologize for referring to Trisha as she, her when I do. And I'm going to do my best to edit those references out. And I'm not even necessarily talking about plus size, but just the fact that, you know, they've got boobs and that definitely impacts packs your shirt sizing. So I'm gonna go and see if maybe they have a more size inclusive brand of merch because I would kind of expect it from somebody who probably has a hard time finding easy sizing off the rack. Ooh. Is it at Hot Topic? Is that why this is here? Home catalog. So this is either merch or a clothing line. And yeah, since I looked at a t-shirt with Mr. Beast, let me look at a t-shirt also with Trisha. Love this. It's very aesthetic and I love it. Okay, so here's the sizes. Small, medium, large, XL, double XL, triple XL. So that's very similar to what we had with Mr. Beast. I'm wondering about a size chart. Uh, I do not see a size chart. Immediately that makes it harder because I don't know if they're talking like unisex sizing, if it's like a slim fit shirt or if it's more of a boxy shirt. Junior's XL, a women's XL, a men's XL, a slim fit XL, a straight fit, like kind of boxy. I, I just, I need more information to really be able to tell what size to order. Just to be safe, I would order the double XL instead of the XL. In terms of inclusivity, I'm gonna give this a C. Just like Mr. Beast, we have this range of small through 3XL, but no extra small or double extra small, and no 4XL. And it's especially uncertain because I don't have a size chart, and to me that is a barrier to inclusivity as well. I mean, it's a sick shirt though. Like, geez. Who's next? I know who I want to examine next. I hope this doesn't come out as petty. I want to look at Ethan and Dila Klein not just because of Trisha and Frenemies. They have their own clothing line. They have a whole different deal. So I'm very interested to see. This is fun, I like this. Sitting and judging people, <laughs> I'm joking. First of all, I'm glad that the titles for the items, like it says women's tiny pocket tee, so you can tell what type of sizing you can expect. Let me look at the women's tiny pocket tee. And they have an extra small, small, medium, large, XL, 2XL, 3XL. They actually include a size extra small, which I think that they're conscious of that because Ela, I imagine she would wear like an extra small. But let me look at the size chart and see what kind of XL, double XL we're talking about. Okay. <laughs> So they're doing this thing again as well, where you lay it flat and you measure across rather than your chest measurement measured around your body. I don't love that, especially for women. Boobs make a difference in your chest measurement. So it's really hard to go based on just a flat measurement because this is not flat. This is not a flat surface area. Um, so this sizing definitely looks a lot smaller. Like this is much more junior sizing. My chest when I measured across was a 27. With this, the largest chest measurement is a 3XL, which is 19 and a half inches. So I would need like a 6XL. Ariana, the model, is 5'10 and wearing a medium. She's a medium? This is gonna be way too small for me. I can't buy any of these sizes with confidence. I'm gonna compare this sizing to the like unisex items. If it's not classified as women's, I'm gonna guess it's like unisex or men's sizing. Let me go to the just pocket tee. So they don't have a size extra small on this like more men's style. This is a men's size medium that they're showing here. And the chest is 20.25 inches. 
the ladies size medium, the chest is 15 and a half inches. We see, see the problem here? Let me look at their size chart. Okay. <laughs> Ah, so this is what it should look like for the women's sizing. More of a normal measuring around your body chest measurement. They have all of this detail for the men's, but not the women's. What is going on, Teddy Fresh? Come on, guys. I think I got a 47 when I did that before. No, yeah, 48. So I'm like a 48. So that puts me right in line with their size large. Wow, I'm very conflicted about this brand now. I think I have to give this brand a C as well for size inclusion. Both men and women's sizes, or at least with these examples that we've looked at, both are missing a 4XL and a double extra small. The women's has the extra small, the men's does not. Just to be clear, the size chart here does show an extra small, but back on the previous page where you go to actually choose what size you wanna put in your cart, there's no option there for an extra small. They have these great measurements that are actually helpful for the men's stuff, and they actually have sizes that are more inclusive, pretty normal men's slash unisex sizing. The women's sizing is really hard to figure out. There's not this type of size chart where you actually can measure around yourself. Even the women are the ones with boobs and it runs super small. So I feel like <laughs> there's a little bit of sexism going on. This type of sexism in size charts exists in so many companies. This is not just them, but it's really easy to see. So I just wanna point it out. That's one of my big, <laughs> Whew. Sexism in sizes. It's like kind of expected that some guys are gonna be big. Whereas apparently for women, the expectation is that the biggest woman, the size 3XL on this chart, only is gonna have a, a chest measurement of 19 and a half inches, which would double to 39 inches, which um, there's no 3XL woman in the world who is a 39 inch, not none, but it's much more likely that that measurement is gonna at least be 45 or upward. I'm around 48 inches around. Like that's nine extra inches that I have to hope that this shirt stretches to accommodate me. Again, I'm the average size of the average American woman. God forbid somebody a little larger than me wanted to buy a shirt. It's just really frustrating that I, as the size of the average American woman, I can't buy a women's top so I have to buy from this like unisex men's style, which it's not an ugly shirt, you know? I just don't understand why the size chart is so much better for the guys than for the women's when honestly, I feel like guys are not as likely to look at a size chart. I would at least expect the two size charts to run the same way, either both of them being a measurement around the body or both of them being a measurement laying flat. You know, there's just a lot of stuff here that I don't like. I don't necessarily blame Teddy Fresh for that. It's their supplier, I'm pretty sure, not necessarily like them saying we don't want to offer these sizes. It's probably the type of thing that they've just never necessarily thought about before, but it's just frustrating. Honestly, this might be more of a C- minus or a D. I was about to say I appreciate that they go up to a 3XL in the women's section, but they don't really, because that 3XL, most 3XL women are not gonna fit. So it's the appearance of inclusivity without it actually being practical in inclusivity. I don't know, I don't like that. And the sexism stuff, we're gonna move on from Teddy Fresh. I, I'm glad that it did bring up a chance for me to talk about the sexism in size charts though, cause that's something I have wanted to do a whole video about. If you wanna hear more about that topic, let me know in the comments below. I wanna look up Lore DIY. I'm interested to see what she might have cause she seems like with it, She's crafty, she's fashionable, she knows about clothing. So it makes me wonder if she might have a little more forward thinking merch. Art club, that's cute. She might have a kind of different style of merch though. Maybe her stuff is all meant to be arted up. Okay, maybe this one. We have an extra small on this one, but we don't have three XL. I don't see a size chart again. It doesn't say like women's shirt, but I, I don't know. I feel like not every guy wants to walk around with the word babe on them. Oh, it says unisex fit right here. Okay, great, 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 great. So the fact that it's unisex fit and there's no size chart here, I happen to be looking at all of these other merch options today. So I saw the fit for Mr. Beast and for Teddy Fresh, unisex or like men's stuff on their size charts. So. If it's a similar size chart, I don't know for sure, but if it is, 
I could probably buy an XL and be in the safe zone, but there's no way for me to know for sure. So it just sucks. I'm glad that she goes down to including the extra small, but the fact that she does not equal that out on the other end with going up to at least a 3XL, if not a 4XL, really limits plus size women out of being able to buy that sizeism. That's where sizeism happens. Again, I'm not gonna say that like, Lord DIY is sizeist, get your pitchforks. That's not what I'm saying. A lot of times this has to do with what is available from the merch supplier that you choose, but it's not as inclusive as I wish it was. And uh, it's disappointing. I am gonna give Laura DIY like a C on her merch inclusivity. You can add a couple sizes. Let me look at Jarvis. So Jarvis Johnson does have merch, great. And as a commentary YouTuber, commentators do like to kind of set the rules, kind of, of good and acceptable behavior. Here's hoping that his merch line is inclusive. There we go, thank you Jarvis, okay. Winning my heart right now and maybe my dollar, we'll see. This is the women's comfort tee. This shirt is trying its best, love it, great. Immediately, extra small through 4XL. Thank you. This visually puts the size extra large in the middle, where it belongs. The average size of the average American woman is an XL. And it's a women's shirt going up to a 4XL. First one that we've seen in this video, allowing the existence of women being that large. Although let me check the size guide because who knows, it could be like a junior's 4XL with length sleeve. So, okay. So, <laughs> You gotta have an image, Jarvis. <laughs> Had I not visited all those other merch websites and basically made the connection that when it says width here, it means laying the shirt flat and measuring across it, I would not have known that. But I do know that now. I have the knowledge. I'm gonna move forward with it. When I measured my chest, I got around a 27 across here. We have a size that fits that exactly and it's the 3XL. Like I said before, I'm not really sure with a shirt that has like a 27 inch front, then would the back be like big? I would go probably with a 2XL instead of the 3XL. Just because of my own logic, it makes sense to me. This is like an A minus to me for inclusion. He could use a double extra small. He could use a more effective size guide with some kind of a picture and with measurements all the way around the body. But I'm really excited that it has a size 4XL available, especially in a slim fit shirt, because again, that means that like 4XL women are allowed to be here. She's allowed to show her curves. She's allowed to show her body. I do want to just quickly check it against the more unisex, or at least not specified as being women's. For this one, they have an extra small, small, medium, large, XL, 2XL, 3XL, and their size guide, I think it's pretty similar. Medium is 20.5. This one is, the medium is 19 and a half instead of 20 or 20 and a half. That's, that's pretty close. The women's shirt being a slim fit shirt kind of explains that. So honestly, seeing the size comparison between the two genders being so similar, Jarvis has the best merch in this video. I'm very excited because I, you know, someday I'm hopefully <laughs> gonna offer merch. And I want to be able to offer it like this, this inclusively and this like non-sexistly. I give Jarvis an A minus. And my only critiques are that he could add the double extra small to both genders and he could add the 4XL to the men's slash unisex premium tee and that he needs to improve the size chart. I'm very pleasantly surprised to see this. Like, thank you, Jarvis, honestly, honest to God. It's really, really nice to see such an inclusive merch line. Awesome, I think that's a great place to end. So folks, what have we learned? What did you think about this experiment? I had no idea how it was gonna go and I'm very interested by all of the results. Like, I guess I think it's our responsibility as influencers to influence in every area 
of our businesses. And so merch is a huge part of that. If you preach inclusivity on your on your platform, in, including size inclusion, you have to do it yourself. And I feel like I really saw that with Jarvis and I didn't see it with people who I kind of thought I would see it with. That's what blows me away the most is that like Jarvis isn't even like a fashion or clothing guy. He's a general commentary dude. He still made sure that his merch was inclusive. Like, I think that's really freaking cool. I'm a larger fan now. I was a fan before, but like this is the type of stuff that makes me even more of a fan of somebody is when they're really like practicing what they preach. So. Now it's your turn. Sorry. <laughs> Let me know what you think about this idea in the comments below. Did you find this interesting? Were you surprised by what any of these creators offered? What are some other creators that I should look up in the future? Because this was super fun. So I definitely might do it again. Have you actually run into this problem before of wanting to buy merch from somebody, but not feeling confident that they have your size? Let me know your experiences with this in the comments below. As an up and coming, influencer myself. I really want to make sure that I take people's merch needs into mind. While you're down there commenting, I do hope that you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and set your notifications to all. We are really growing around here in the neighborhood and I'm really excited about it and I'm grateful for it. Thank you so much to those who are subscribing. If you like this video, maybe share it with a friend, subscribe, you know, help me, uh, help me, please. <laughs> Whether you do or not, Totally fine. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you and your time and the fact that you are spending your time here with me. I don't know why. <laughs> I appreciate it though. Um, the next time I'll see you will be on Monday for Monday Night Live. Please be there, 7 p.m. Eastern time. So much love. Bye. <laughs> I've never done that before. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it in. Ah, bye.